The Trump administration is looking to improve and modernize Medicare while blasting Democrats who promote the Medicare for All platform. One America's Emerald Robinson talked exclusively with the director of the White House Domestic Policy Council. The Trump administration is making moves on Medicare. The president signing an executive order at an event in Florida this week to ensure his commitment to America's seniors. As long as I'm president, no one will lay a hand on your Medicare benefits, and that's what we're here to do today. This order is the latest step in my administration's drive to ensure the world's best health care for all Americans. The president also saying that it's the latest in many important steps that the administration is taking to dramatically improve health care for the American people. Director Joe Grogan, who heads up the White House Domestic Policy Council, the office responsible for outlining and pushing the president's policies on health care, seconded the president's commitment. Well, the first thing it does is uh, lay out the president's commitment to preserving Medicare for our nation's seniors at a time when so many uh, Democrats want to pursue Medicare for all schemes, which would end up being Medicare for none. This president is focused on improving the program and securing it for the next generation. And that benefits will quickly come to fruition, according to Grogan. Well, you'll see some of the benefits immediately, to be honest with you. We have not taken our eyes off the ball on Medicare. We've done a lot of improvements, but we're gonna, you'll start to see regulations coming out to change these procedures. We're seeing rates for Medicare Advantage come down and Medi Medicare Part D come way down, the lowest in years and years since well before uh, President Trump took office. So w you're seeing the Medicare program get stronger now under the president's leadership, and you'll s continue to see a greater tempo of improvements to Medicare and our larger health care system uh, moving forward. Trump's executive order aims to help further expand Medicare Advantage plans, which are private insurance plans now used by about a third of the nation's Medicare recipients. The president's order also directs the Secretary of Health and Human Services, Alex Azar, to propose new regulations that would enable Medicare Advantage plans to offer more flexible options and boost the use of telehealth services. The EO also supports expansion of health savings accounts. And Grogan says that there's a lot more to come on the health care front from this White House. Each and every week moving forward, I think maybe it'll slip to once every two weeks. You'll see the president make some type of announcement on health care. Uh, it, it may be the Se Secretary of Health and Human Services or myself who makes that announcement, but this president has a tremendous resume on health care, and we're going to continue to drive that forward all the way through the end of the first term. Grogan said that the president is building, quote, a tremendous body of work, noting recent moves on kidney health, HIV, and last week's executive order promoting modernization of flu vaccines. Grogan said that this president is taking on a lot of issues that have been ignored in past administrations, even some for decades. At the White House, Emerald Robinson, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.